Hello and uh, welcome to Tapping Tuesday. This uh, last night and this morning, I was thinking about what to tap around today in our tapping demo. Um, and I thought I would go ahead after hearing the news just recently in the last few hours. It's about 4.30 um, here in California, Los Angeles East or West Coast time, excuse me. And I just uh, heard the news of the shooting in uh, Texas at an elementary school, I believe 14 or 15 children were killed um, as well as a teacher and the shooter's grandmother. So, um, you know, just know that this is a very sensitive subject and if you feel that you're gonna be triggered by this topic, I'm not gonna go into the political, you know, uh, discussion about gun control or anything like that, but um, I really want to focus on the emotions that this brings up. Uh, for me, it had a feeling of feeling helpless and angry that these things continue to happen. And, um, you know, again, I just wanted to focus on that. So if you feel like you're going to get triggered by anything, please just turn this video off. If it's not for you, that's okay. I, I know that it's a very um, sensitive topic for most people and, um, you know, can bring up a lot of emotions. So in this tapping demo, we're going to focus on the, uh, emotions of feeling helpless and maybe a little bit angry, um, whether it's angry, being angry at the system or helpless, or, you know, if you have children of your own, maybe there's some fear around that. So whatever you're feeling, uh, first, let's all just take a collective <laughs> deep breath since this is such a sensitive topic and maybe, um, you know, difficult to tap around. So let's take a deep breath. And whether you're sitting or you're laying down or wherever you're at, um, you know, please don't do this while you're driving. Um, just kind of get grounded wherever you are. And whether your feet are touching the ground or not, just imagine that you begin to feel the support between your feet and the ground beneath. Or if you're sitting in a chair, just feel the chair beneath you, just getting a little bit more centered and grounded for this tapping on this very sensitive, tragic topic. And when you're ready, we'll start on the karate chop point even though after hearing this news of this horrible tragedy and loss, I'm feeling really helpless and feeling so many emotions, perhaps a little anger, helplessness, and whatever else you're feeling, just say it out loud. I deeply and completely honor and accept myself, even though it still pisses me off and makes me so angry that these senseless tragedies keep happening. And I just feel helpless and angry that this keeps happening and that not more is not being done about it. I deeply and completely love and accept myself, even though I feel so helpless and angry hearing about this tragedy. I want to send love and healing to all those affected in any tragedies, especially school shootings. I deeply and completely honor and accept myself. Inside of the eyebrow, feeling so helpless. Side of the eye, feeling helpless after hearing this horrible news. Under the eye, this senseless tragedy. Under the nose, the loss of all those children's lives. Chin point and their hurting families and friends. Collarbone, feeling so helpless under the arm and angry under the chest anger at the senseless tragedy wrist points and the loss of those lives 
top of the head, and all those affected by this senseless tragedy. Inside the eyebrow, feeling this helplessness. Side of the eye, and this anger. Under the eye, and feeling sad for the families affected and the teachers and everyone involved. Under the nose, feeling helpless and angry. Chin point, so many emotions. Collarbone, feeling the sadness. Under the arm, I want to send so much love and healing to all those affected. Under the chest, or perhaps I feel like I should get involved to help from this happening again. Wrist points, feeling so helpless and angry. Top the head around this horrible tragedy. Inside the eyebrow, feeling so helpless. Side of the eye, and I want to begin to release these feelings. Under the nose, I acknowledge that they're there, but I don't hold on to them for very long. Under the nose, I want to send love and light to all those affected. Chin point, and I send prayers to the families and friends of those who lost their lives. Collarbone, and any remaining feelings of helplessness or anger. Under the arm, I want to release this negative energy I'm holding on to. Under the chest, perhaps I want to get more involved in keeping this from happening again. Wrist points, and I choose instead to be calm and relaxed. Top of the head, I choose to remember to be kind to myself and to others. Inside the eyebrow, I choose to be empowered to get involved in change. Side of the eye, and to show myself and others so much love and compassion. Under the eye, I choose to send those families so much love and support. Under the nose and light and healing. Chin point, I choose to tell all my friends and family how much they mean to me and how much they mean to me and that I love them. Under the arm, I choose to remember that there's still goodness in the, in the, uh, in our world. Under the chest, I choose to be balanced and calm. Wrist points, I choose to release any negative emotions that I may be holding on to. Top of the head, and I choose to have empathy for myself and for others and also protect my energy and be balanced and grounded. Okay, take a deep breath. And feel free to do some more tapping around that if you feel that it's necessary. And um, just once again, just close your eyes if you're able to and just once again, feel that support beneath this, that connection between your feet and the ground beneath, getting more present in the present moment. Knowing that what we do have control over is maintaining and balancing our energetic system and our emotions, whether it's tapping or meditation or breath work or anything else, just using our tools, especially in tragic times, to ground ourselves, to be grateful. Grateful for our lives and those around us. 
and just breathing that gratitude into your heart. You can even imagine that you have those roots going into the ground, out of the bottoms of your feet into the ground, grounding you and anchoring you into the support beneath, into this Mother Earth below us. Thank you for watching. I know this was a tough one today, but I thought it was a necessary thing to address. And hopefully that helped you. And, you know, there was always help. If you need it, please reach out to any, you know, medical professional or myself um, or any other type of therapist for support. And yeah, just support. So please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions and I hope you have a nice rest of your day. Thank you for watching. This is Dawn with Tapping Tuesday. Bye.